To all Americans, I say... Tragic developments. The next four years are going to be difficult. President Kennedy has been assassinated. And challenging years for us all. You were in charge of the trip home that the president never made. I, I would have, yes, I would have received him at Dulles and arranged the motorcade to take him to the White House. After stops in the Austin area, John F. Kennedy's trek home would have ended with Toby Chandler, the Aggie from Thrall who'd stood guard for his presidency. For a few weeks prior, Chandler had been taking extra Secret Service classes. After school every afternoon, I would drive out to Dulles and have meetings uh, with people out there that I needed to see. <clears throat> and then the next day, go to school for eight hours. November 22nd was graduation day, and at a seafood restaurant event in the D.C. area, Chandler was giving a speech when his boss jumped in and ordered the agents to their posts. And he said, the president's been shot in Dallas. And of course, we were all stunned by this news. To the White House, Agent Chandler went to field calls from agents at offices across the nation. But word soon filtered in from Dallas on another issue. There's a rumor that uh, President Johnson has had a heart attack in, uh, at Parkland and uh, the speaker may be acting president. So Chandler and a colleague were sent to the Capitol to defend John McCormick and later to take him to Andrews Air Force Base where he watched the return of a healthy LBJ. I ask for your help and God. This is a scene at Andrews Air Force Base. For the and Kennedy. A day early, an arrival Chandler hadn't planned. What was going through your mind? Well, it was a tremendous sense of, first, of failure, that all of our work was for nothing. And then of, of grief that uh, this young man For 50 years, there have been countless questions asked about what happened here at Dealey Plaza. Was there enough security on hand? Did the Secret Service agents that were here do enough? And of course, whether it was a guy on the sixth floor of an old book depository that fired the shots, or maybe someone else. Was Lee Harvey Oswald the only shooter? Yes, I, I believe that, I accept it. There's never been someone come forward with a, a, a hard piece of courtroom evidence to prove that anybody else had a hand in it. The president's car that day lacked a top, and in Agent Jerry Blaine's book, The Kennedy Detail, he describes Kennedy's relayed order that the agents weren't to ride on the vehicle's side, that this president wanted to be seen by his public, especially in a critical time in his political career. There was no question in my mind or any of my contemporaries that the president didn't want the top, and he didn't want the guy standing on the bumper. If you had been there, do you think you could have made a difference? No. I don't think anybody could have made a difference. Half a century later, years of exemplary pride-filled service to the nation still don't erase the pain of the agents of that era. We considered it as a, a tremendous loss for the nation and a personal failure. something that still sticks with you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very much so.